Sometimes I'm noticing a theme around you that you always seem to be angry at people. Oh, come on. Would you get your act together? Why don't you act your age and go out and find some work? A bit mean. Lazy old good for nothing. Aw, be mean. What do you mean by act my age? That's. That's age discrimination. <laughs> you know? But listen. You say variety. I am the perfect example of variety. I am the variety. And I'm part of the variety. Actually. Oh, shut up! Hold on now. You started this, and now you want me to shut up? You aren't a very good conversationalist, are you? <laughs> About the time. Alright, that's it. I'm gonna do everything I can to pull you away from that book. Well then, try your best, but the pen is mightier than the sword. Big brother is mightier than the little sword. Oh, it's a family relationship. A good sign to get in between, but alright. I wish you luck. You feed up as well is when you can do as you wish. I choose to read as much as I can at home. Oh, you're in trouble now, mister. I brought some help to with me today. Well, tonight. It's the middle of the night, Amanda. If you're gonna challenge the smart guy, you better say this stuff correctly. What? A helper? Now you have to use others to pressure me. Diplomacy at home, I see. I do not bow down to diplomatic pressures easily, oh. Amelia. But I must admit that I am impressed with your efforts. A little, that is, that you were able to actually think of someone other than yourself. Oh, okay then. I am willing to come to the negotiation table. If you want to pull me out from my book, you must answer my riddles three. If you win, I promise you that I will look into freeing myself from this book. Are you ready? Here comes the riddle. It gets shorter as the clock hand moves forward. There's a white dress It's a burning head. What is it? Bring me the answer. Shorter as time goes on. Uh, white dress. I guess it has to be white. Uh, a white colored base. And it has a burning head, which means it can be flammable. That's probably why it gets shorter. It's on fire. It's looking like a chalk stick, but that doesn't fit with the burning. Uh oh. ran into this. Oh, that's not good. It looks like they're bullying Francis again. Oh, hey, I know what you're thinking. Not this again. Well, he read my mind. I know I feel the same if I were you. Oh, thank you. So it's pesky victory, gang. Actually, I was fine with any of the red stuff, and in real bad, too. Uh, when I had the brave fruit. When you gave me, that is. But... And the effect of, well, the effect of the brave fruit wore out. Couldn't handle them anymore. Seems my failure got even worse. I think I was the cause of this phobia. It was back when I was a child. It was this incident. Oh, what time of incident? Oh, I'll explain it to you. A long time ago, I had a best friend when I was still a little puppy. One day, we were playing, like we always did, and then, well, we started to fight over something really silly. At first, it was just a discussion, but actually, things became really ugly. We ended up hitting and biting each other. Ooh, biting each other, that's not good. And we wrestled around, and wrestled around real hard till... Oh god, did she murder someone? I... I... Or, oh god, she did. I think I may have hurt her badly. Uh-oh. 
Uh, she might be dealing with a ghost storm. Oh, I shouldn't have brought this up. I remember I shoved her and she fell to the ground. Oh, jeez. And she never came back up. She actually did. As she was winning and beating, I got very scared and I... We just left the body away. Oh, gosh. I killed a lion. Uh-oh. We did definitely... She, from the sounds of it, she definitely got close. Let's see. Oh! Something in here. Hey. I'm gonna compete with you again sometime. Yeah, tell your voice to stop bullying, Francis. That's not very nice. Alright, what's this? Oh, got a candle. Oh yeah, I guess that would kind of fit the riddle. Because the fire on its head causes it to shrink, and it does... At least this candle's pretty white. Or white enough. I guess that might work for Alex's puzzle. I see you have the answer. Yes, the answer is a candle. I must say that I am feeling two emotions at once. Oh, well, that's a rarity for you. I feel frustrated that you solved my riddle, but I also feel relieved. This time, I lose. I'll get out as I promised. Oh my gosh. Every god outside of his- oh, Why did you jump at it, Amanda? Just the person I wanted to see. Oh, why is that, Noble? There's a cane that symbolizes the power of this chairman. And I broke it. Noble. Are you telling me you broke your noble chairman cane? Well, to tell you the truth, the cane was quite old. It's bound to break someday. Anyway, if anyone finds out about this, well, I'm afraid that the other dogs may not trust me anymore. <sighs> so, here's what I'm going to do. I'd like to ask you to do me a favor. Bring me some glue so I can repair the cane. Glue? Well, you're not familiar with glue, are ya? You can use it to bond the pieces of wood back together. Glue is used in wooden furniture, too. I'm sure you could find some at any place that sells furniture. Maybe Teresa's shop can have some. You know, they use it to make furniture. This mission is top secret, so don't tell anyone about this, alright? All right, we can do that. Up. Got any glue? Oh, how you doing? Yeah, I need some glue. Want some glue, don't you? Sorry, bud, I'm just all out of glue. I can get some glue at a place that is near some water. And if you want, here's what it smells like. Looks like pumpkin and potato. That's a weird combination. Does glue actually smell like that? Hang on. I'm sure I have some glue in here somewhere. Ew, alright. This is a bit old anyways, but... Yeah, no, I don't- I can't really smell it. Maybe it's just that, maybe furniture glue smells like that. I don't know. What does, this, what does a pumpkin smell like anyways? Oh yeah, Peter wants something. What's up, Peter? Ah. Uh, um, you okay, Peter? I just can't stop thinking about her. Uh, about who, Peter? Ah, Amelia, eyes are shine just like diamonds. Oh, Amelia, 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 oh, Amelia. Oh, Peter, you can't really do that. Uh. Dead silence. Okay, I admit it, I really like Amelia. Got a problem with that? Yeah, it's kind of creepy. No, Nav, that's not the right thing you're supposed to do there. But I just feel I can't tell her about it. How I feel about her. Why not? 
to get so tense. Oh, let's start just talking to her. Okay. Oh, I'm a chicken. I wish I was more romantic. Yeah, a romantic drop. They say it makes dogs more romantic. I think you've been listening to too many connoisseurs there, but all right, I'll bite. Hey, could you get me one? A romantic drop. You could say you find one in South Sandy Desert. Can you get one for me? I really don't want to, but I need to do this thing for Sniff Masters and I have to help every single person I ask me for something. This seems really creepy, but you know what? I'm gonna make your day. Please don't. Just be civil about this and don't don't do anything illegal. That's not gonna work out between them. Don't tell them that, but it's gonna crush them. Drop from the sky. That was funny. Hug licking his face. Classic. I'm just confused. Oh, what's up? Alright, Bill wanted me to talk to you. Hmm. Message from Bill, eh? You know what? I don't trust you. I only trust. Dogs who can catch bugs better than I can. If you want my help, can I catch a certain bug for me? Otherwise, I won't help you. Very pretty white color. It's called a cabbage butterfly. If you can catch this butterfly, yeah, then you'll have my trust. Ah, oh, you don't have a bug case. Uh, no, I don't. Oh. Bug case is necessary, man. Um. Necessary. I was gonna say that in this spell. That seemed like the correct spelling. Necessary. Clark. <laughs> Same. Anyway, you need a bug cage. Um. Oh, there was a butterfly flying around. Oh. Uh oh. I didn't realize we were having a double trouble here. Uh, dachshund hound. Hello there, little bud. What do you, what do you want? Uh, Bill wanted me to talk to you. Ha! <laughs> Message from Bill, huh? I don't trust you. Fishing is everything to me, and I don't trust dogs who don't fish. Oh, okay. Here's what we'll do. Bring me a certain fish, and I'll start trusting you. Catch a black bass and bring it to me. Trust you if and only if you can catch me a black bass. So, go get it. Alright, I can do that. Pop. 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 Oh, yeah, there it is. Alright, so now we just need to. I guess we can go turn this question at least. Ah, so you caught a black bass, huh? I didn't know anyone who could fish better than I can. It wasn't that hard, Nate. You win. But again, if you're already in the middle of helping someone, you gotta finish one thing at a time. You know, first things first. Don't tell me how to live my life. I know how, exactly what I'm doing. Um, excuse me. Is there an Elaine or a family with Elaine that lives around here? Uh, you are. Well, my name is Francis. My goodness, Francis. Is that really you? It's me, Elaine. Elaine? Yes, yes, that's right. Long time no see. I haven't changed a bit. Elaine? Um, that's right, I'm Elaine. It's so good to see you. How's your family? Are they fine? Elaine? I, I didn't murder you? Um, I need to apologize to you. For oh, what, dear? I, well, I hurt you badly. Oh, no. Say what? And this is how she recounts her murder story. <laughs> oh, I get it. Yes, we certainly had a big fight. The last day we played together. 
Oh, I got scars and they've been bled a little. That was nothing. All the scars are gone now, silly. Actually, it's me who should be apologizing here. That last day. Oh, my dad had just told me we're moving out. I wanted to tell you about us moving. I just couldn't say goodbye. I was so frustrated I must have chosen the wrong words when I was talking to you. That fight was actually my fault. Oh, we're still friends, right? I <laughs> imagine she just says no here. Oh, silly, of course we are. We are and will always be friends forever. Ah, thank you. Wow, I'm so relieved. I'm not afraid of tomatoes anymore. <laughs> Francis, you're a funny jokester. Thank you now. I'm happy I could help. First case is investigator solved. South Sandy Desert. Oh yeah, this is one of the best themes in the game. Oh man, it's burning. Oh man, it's burning up here. I'll dry up quickly if we just keep staying here like this. Hey Navillo. Time to get to drink water. One more then. Watch out for those poisonous snakes. New items though. I'll just take that. Banana. Oh, there must be the poison boy. Up. We got it. Oh, we got a sweet potato. We need just a regular one. Um, we are burning up a bit, so we might as well go find somewhere to drink. Ooh, that must be the romantic drop. Uh, I guess it's right next to this pyramid. Ah, what could be more romantic than a giant pyramid? And we can just dig up. There it is, potato! And now we've got the glow scent smell. GG Village. Let's see. Ooh, there's some new items here. What can we buy? Hello, Thelma. And a straw hat. I think we'll pass on those. Got some goggles. Okay, we're definitely getting these. And we can just go put on our goggles. There we go. And it's just like us. Alright. Uh, it looks like Blue's on that island back there. Which means we have to get past the alligator. Uh-oh. He's angry. Now looks like we gotta get past him. There we are. Knocked him out. Hi, bud. Have a nice snooze. There we go. Now we just gotta get back. Alright, Noble. Here is your glue. For your lovely cane. What can I help with, bud? Never knew such a law existed. I shall inform everyone about it. First thing tomorrow. Okay. I get the feeling we're supposed to deny knowing anything about this. Let's head back home and rest up a little. Alright, 